So for the first hairstyle, I'm doing this waterfall braid. So you basically get two pieces of hair, twist the two pieces of hair together, and then add in a really little piece of hair from the top of your head, putting it over that first section and then under the second section. And then once you've done that, drop it and twist the hair again a few times. So yeah, I'm basically just repeating that all the way through my hair. I hope this kind of makes sense. If it doesn't, just like Google or put into YouTube how to do a waterfall braid and it will come up. Yeah, I'm doing that the whole way to the back of my head on both sides and then clipping them together at the back. Okay, so onto the second hairstyle. This is quite simple. It's just a low ponytail. Literally, this is so good for like if you're running late for school or whatever, or your hair just don't look that good. Just chuck it up in a low ponytail, and I back combed mine a bit just to give it some more volume. And that's it. I just pull out some bits around the front of my face, and that is the second hairstyle. <laughs> for the third one, I'm just plaiting the front of my hair just like a normal plait, and then I always pull the pieces apart to just make it look bigger, give it more volume, and make it look a little nicer. And then I'm taking that round to the back of my head, just make sure it looks okay and everything and then I'm kind of back combing my hair putting it up in a ponytail and then I wrap that plait that I done round the like hairband of the ponytail clip the little like bit in that's like hanging out <laughs> from the rest of the plait and that is it this one's pretty similar to the last I just kept that plait in my hair took the ponytail out and then I pinned this plait at the back of my head just using some bobby pins and yeah, that was it. It was as simple as that. It would literally took me like three minutes, not even that. And I really liked the way it turned out. On to the next one. I French plaited like the top section of my hair, if that makes sense. So it's just like this half up, half down, messy French plait type thing. I really like this one too. I feel like I should do this more often. Um, yeah. On to the next hairstyle, this one I'm doing Dutch plaits. Dutch plaits are the exact same as French plaits, except for you kind of do it backwards. So you like start out with your three pieces of hair like you would a normal plait, and then add in sections, but instead of crossing the outside sections over into the middle, cross them under. So just put all the hair under instead of over. So it just makes the plait like a bit more raised up and noticeable, I guess. So yeah, I did that to like the top of my head kind of, like to the back part and then secured it with like an elastic band, done that on both sides, and then I put them both together and just created this like messy bun. Weren't the best bun I've ever done, not gonna lie, but yeah, you get the gist, <laughs> just a messy bun, and you could do French plaits, you don't have to do Dutch plaits. Um, On to the next hairstyle, I kept them plaits in, but I just plaited them all the way down my hair instead. Again, pulled them apart just to make them a bit more messy, so they have a bit more like volume too. And then, yeah, tied them both all the way down my hair, tied them at the bottom with a hairband, and that was it. I love this one. I do this quite a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I actually really, really like this one. I just kept the plaits in, but I done it in a ponytail instead, and I love the way this looked. I took the hairbands out as well and just back combed them at the bottom to keep the plaits in place. For the next one, I just put the top half of my hair up in like a half up, half down ponytail. And then finally, I done Dutch plaits again, but I done them the whole way down my head, so it was just like French plaits. But Dutch plaits. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, Dutch plaits are basically the exact same, but they're just they're like upside down kind of. Um, so you could just do French plaits if you wanted to, if you find it easier. But I actually find it easy to do Dutch plaits. I'm not really sure why. Anyway, I pulled them like bits of hair just to like make it bigger again, and yeah, simple as that really. And then the final one was a Dutch plait again, but with a low bun this time. This is just like messy and it's like, I just had to take the ends of the plaits out and then put it up in a bun. It really didn't take long. Um, so yeah, I just tied my hair in a messy bun at the bottom of my head and that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click my face on the screen now to subscribe and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.